The tea is hot today. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lexi, I'm an actor, former model, and current electrician. So not only do I light up the screen, I light up your house. The modeling industry is glamorous, it's empowering, it's interesting, but it's also shady. And when you have thousands of young women, men, non-binaries trying to make it in this glamorous world, you're going to get people who want to take advantage of them. Desperate people are easy targets. So today, we're going to be looking at five modeling scams that you need to watch out for so you don't get scammed. The first scam we're going to be talking about today is the agency fee scam. So how agencies work in Canada is you get signed with them, say you work a job for $1,000. The agency is only entitled to 15% or $150 of that money once you get paid. That is how the business works, that is the standard, that is the legal amount agencies can take from you. You apply on Facebook ads, they seek you out on Instagram, you go in for interviews, you sign a contract, and all of a sudden, you have to do a $500 mandatory photo shoot. Doing photo shoots you have to pay for at the beginning of your career is actually a really helpful way to build up a portfolio quickly and high quality, but if an agency says things are mandatory and you have to use their photographers, that's when you know it's shady. My agency, once I signed, I did a modeling class. Did I have to pay for it? No, because the whole agency's job is to create this marketable model who knows the business, who knows how to do posing and how to walk. So if an agency is charging you money to learn to do that, they don't actually care about getting you to clients you are their client, you are their customer. That's how they make money, is off of your wallet, not clients paying for your services. The best way to avoid this type of scam is to read your contract and know your rights. I will put a link in the description below on uh, the government legislation surrounding this, and I did talk about it a little bit in one of my previous videos, but if any sort of agency asks for you to pay fees to them, they're not a legitimate agency and you need to run fast. Surprise camera angle change! which also leads me to a subject change, which leads me to scam number two. Now, <laughs> this scam is so juicy that I had to write out some notes. So if I refer to my notes, that's, that's, that's why. We are talking about international modeling contract uh, scams. Being an international model, you are essentially in a revolving door of debt. Some agencies will pay for your airfare upfront, but what that means is say your plane costs $1,000, you arrive at that country minus $1,000 in debt. And then the best part is the agencies in Europe and Asia, they charge 50% commission. No, 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 not one five, five zero. So not only are you immediately in debt when you land, you are already going to make only 50% of your earnings and 50% goes to the agency, 50% goes to your debt. So essentially 100% goes to your agency for the first little bit. A lot, a lot of models do not get out of this debt and leave the country after three months of working every single day with zero money. I know, I know, it's crazy. So. There's other fees as well that add to your debt. So apartment fees. For example, I lived in Milan. It wasn't an apartment. It was a photography studio where they put a bunk bed. Actually, not even a bunk bed. It was like a cot. There wasn't even any walls. It was this like loft thing with a bunch of curtains around it. I was being charged 750 euros for my cot. That is like a thousand Canadian dollars to sleep on a cot with three other people in that studio. Actually, at one point, we had five models in that studio and they were all paying 750 euros a piece and one of them didn't even have a bed. We literally had to build a bed out of random cushions and hope for the best. And so, of course, that 750 euros, which is extremely above market value, that goes to your debt. Another thing that a lot of agencies do which is again, something to watch out for in your contract is they do printing fees. Like they'll charge you $10 to print pictures for your portfolio or to print comp cards. 
there's so many little things and that's why it's so important to again read your contract but not only that i would think it's worth hiring a lawyer to look at your contract so in my case when i was in milan um i was there for six months and i did end up breaking even so i worked like I don't know, once a week usually, I, I did a lot, a lot of jobs and I ended up walking away with, uh, minus my debts and everything, like 1300 euros. Did I ever receive those euros? No, they never actually paid me. It's been, that's, that's a story for another time, but either way, such crap happens in international modeling. And it's great because you can say you model in Milan or you model in, you know, Shanghai and that sounds fantastic, but at the end of the day, you're basically slave labor and you're stuck there. You have no money and you can never get out of your debt. It's awful. <laughs> the best way to avoid the scam is like I said, hire a lawyer, read your contracts incredibly thoroughly and don't leave the country without any money that they do owe you. Do not let them steal it. Now this third modeling scam, it might be a little controversial and I think some people might have different opinions, but this is mine. If you are modeling for a company for commercial purposes, you, in my opinion, should be entitled to either pay or credit to their company or some sort of product exchange. Now, small business, obviously it's important to support the small businesses. And so if you're lending your time to help out a small business, that's great. However, if nobody accepts payment or demands some sort of product or something in exchange for their services, it leads to this precedent that modeling doesn't actually have value. Again, like I said, if it's a friend of yours or a really small company that's just trying to get off the ground, that's fine. I just think if you are a company and you want to hire models, paying them in exposure dollars doesn't pay their bills. I own Lumi My Lingerie. It is a small clothing company. Every single one of my models leaves my set with a piece to take home. I think it's extremely wrong to, to to get people involved in your company if you're not willing to show them that you appreciate their services. We're valuable. It takes a long time to become a good model. That should be appreciated <laughs> all around. Now, our number four scam is a little more sinister than the previous scams. This is the nude casting scam. This actually became newsworthy when it happened with Victoria's Secret. People on Instagram claimed to be casting them agents from Victoria's Secret and they were looking for models. And what they would do is they'd reach out to people on Instagram or, or Facebook and say, we want you to be the Victoria's Secret angel. All you have to do is send us nude photos. What unfortunately happens with these people who ask for your nude photos, if you do send them, now they have ammunition to blackmail you. Anytime someone asks for nude photos as a terms for casting, they are not legitimate. Now, right off the bat, models are not porn stars and models can do nude modeling. However, casting should never involve you sending someone nude selfies. If it's a genuine person from a genuine company, They'll find your agent and go through that method. No one direct messaging you and asking for nude photos is from any legitimate company, 100%. And number five, this is one that I see all the time on modeling groups, model safety networks on Facebook, which you should definitely look out for in your area. This is the overpayment scam. How this scam works is Again, you'll be cold called by some random person claiming to be from some random company and they say they have a photo shoot that they want you to be part of. It always looks too good to be true. They'll say no experience necessary. We'll have a model coach. We'll have makeup. We'll have hair. We'll have all these things. It'll be fantastic. We'll pay you, you know, $500 up front and $500 when it's over. How the scam works is they'll say, okay, we'll send you $2,000. What you need to do is pay the photographer out of that sum, pay the makeup artist, pay for the clothing, and then whatever's left over, that's your deposit, and we'll pay you the rest after the photo shoot's done. They'll send you 2000 you pay out all these people, and then all of a sudden, once you've sent out those payments, the $2,000 bounces. And now you're out all that money that you sent out for these makeup artists and whoever else, and those go back directly to the scammer. Great rule of thumb is if it sounds too good to be true, it is. 
if someone's saying they're from Victoria's Secret through email, they're not. Again, this one is, this one is so, so common and I get it. It sounds awesome. You want it to be true, but you got to keep your wits about you as with all of these previous scams, read the fine print, read the contract, don't fall for anything that seems too awesome. It's probably not legitimate. There are so many fun opportunities in the modeling industry, so many things that I got to do when I traveled, so many awesome, awesome experiences and memories. Unfortunately, there are dark sides to this industry that you need to watch out for. Just be vigilant, be smart, stay safe. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you like me and want to see more of me, then subscribe to my channel, like my video, name your kids after me, and have a fantastic rest of your day. I will see you. You, my phone, that's projecting my face to other people. <laughs> I will see you in the next one. Bye.